Hey guys, Amanda Plevel, Dr. Foodie here. Oh my god, it has been so long since I've gotten stung by a bee or a wasp or a hornet or anything. And I just got stung when I was painting my new office and oh my god, it hurts so bad. I completely forgot how bad that hurts. So I ran to my computer after I got everything taken care of and I wrote up a blog of exactly what I did and I got stung on my back so I've got my little poultice on my back right now. But, but my body was like, you need some really good healing comfort food and that's what we're gonna make for supper tonight. And so I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, it, it, I, I really just wanted something that was gonna be a comfort food and um, soup is always good for that because the body doesn't have to break down a lot. But I wanted to, um, I mean, sorry, I cut up a bunch of potatoes. I'm going to make a little potato soup with um, coconut milk. It's nice and um, fat means a calm, like a fat content, good fat content, not fat meat on the body. Good fat content, which is going to really calm the nerves down. Um, and then I added some sage and garlic to it because both of those are very good for healing, very good anti antimicrobial, antiviral, antibacterial. So um, it's a really su super simple recipe. Body just said, you know what? We need some potatoes. We gotta get some good carbs in. Um, we want some of those minerals. And so, on some of the potatoes, I left some cocoons on, and then I just chopped them up. I did boil the potatoes first um, so that they would get softer. And then um, now I'm just gonna kind of show you what I'm doing here. If I can figure out how to get the camera to you, let's flip it around. Maybe it won't let us do that. Okay. There. Can you see it now? Okay. So I've got my little pot of potatoes. I've got, I've just got some coconut milk, but I'm really careful about the coconut milk I get if I don't make it myself. So this one doesn't have all the additives. If you see, it's just got the tiny little ingredients there. And then I cut some um, sage leaves just right off of my sage plant. So we're just going to pour the coconut milk over the potatoes until it covers the top. some of those potato um, skins on there. I didn't want too many because that's, um, we wanted enough of the microorganisms and we wanted enough of the minerals and those are typically right around the skin or just the tiny little bit layer below the skin. And I'm going to put some pepper in there. And then I should have chopped up my, chopped up my sage. Chop into the pot you go, get ready to heal my body, and thank you for doing so. And now we're just going to put that on the stove. We're going to let that just simmer until it's nice and um, nice and smooth so we don't have to chew much, the body doesn't have to digest much, and I can get back to healing my poor beastie. So, hope you enjoy the soup I did put on DrFoodie.Live. I did put um, the recipe, and I did write about the experience, and I did write about um, the poultice that I made stuff that's right out in your yard.